Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. First of all, I wanna give you guys a quick shout out to those of you guys that have reached out to me on all my social media platforms, whether it's Snapchat, uh, Instagram or Facebook. Thank you guys so very much for the love and support. I genuinely thank you and it's giving me a lot, a lot of healing energy and I truly appreciate you guys. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I took a bit, a few days. Um, this is why we're a little bit late on the monthly readings. There was a loss in my family. So I thank you guys for giving me that space. I wanted to come back at a more focused and stable state of mind. And we are back and we are back stronger than ever. So uh, Scorpio, before we get into your reading, I want to give you guys the astrological alignments that are happening. Obviously, you guys know the, or not the lunar, the lunar and solar eclipse that we experience, right? It is eclipse season and it has been massive and it's been very, very turbulent for some of us, very traumatic for others of you, um, positive in a very beautiful way. And for others, just challenging all around. And uh, we're still not done. Uh, however, we have transits that are happening that are very, very beneficial for us. So for once, we kick off today uh, Pluto retrograde in Aquarius. As you guys know, it recently went into Aquarius. It was in the sign of Capricorn for 20 years, and it is and has been in Aquarius. It's going retrograde today, and once it's done going retrograde, it's dipping back into Capricorn in the month of September. So what does this mean? It is doing the final dance, right? It's been going dancing this beautiful dance between Aquarius and Capricorn. It's going back into Capricorn in September to the last degrees of Capricorn before it finally says it's goodbye. So whenever Pluto has been stationed in a sign, it obviously it's going to hit and transform whatever house that's in, whatever energy that's in, right? And Pluto is the planet, it's a generational planet, so obviously it affects everyone on a grander scale of things. Um, it's going to have a lot to do with what you, where you have your Pluto, uh, sorry, where you have your Aquarius and your Capricorn placements. That's what's going to be playing out. That's what's been playing out. So with Pluto retrograde though, wherever you felt that you were disempowered or wherever you felt that you took that hit, that transformation, when it goes retrograde, unlike Mars or Mercury retrograde, this is a positive thing because when Pluto as a generational planet goes retrograde, it actually brings to you the acknowledgement or the wisdom of what transformed. And it it's almost like a stepping into your power again. It is giving your power back. Like before it's getting ready to leave that thing completely, it's giving your power back. It's like, you know what, Scorpio? This is your power. Hone it because you're no longer who you were. You're the higher version of yourself. And now it's like, I'm giving you all this power. I'm giving you all this potential. What are you going to do with it? So that's what's happening, okay? So depending on where, like I said, depending on where you have your Capricorn and Aquarius placement, that's what's playing out. Obviously, we've been seeing this, right? Um... We've been seeing this in the media. We've been seeing this um, on social media, you know, with celebrities, uh, their laundry being, you know, uh, dragged out in the open. People are being dragged left and right. People getting caught up. Obviously, Pluto in, a, in Capricorn, um, it gives to you power. But sometimes if you abuse that power and by abusing, you're abusing the collective or you're abusing people to gain that power, you're going to pay for that because at some point it's going to collect. And that's exactly what's happening right now with celebrity culture, right? We see that playing out left and right. <laughs> People are more aggressive right now. <laughs> and I think it has everything to do with the fact that we have the North Node in Aries. We have the South Node in Libra. Uh, eclipse season that we've experienced. We have Chiron in Aries. We have everything that has to do with transformation happening at this exact moment in time. Uh, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Obviously, Scorpio, um, Pluto represents your energy as well. So this is massive. For some of you guys, you're already feeling this, uh, especially those of you guys that are moon or rising Venus, you're already exp uh, experiencing um, 
the Aquarius, uh, sorry, the Pluto being retrograde in, Aqu in Aquarius. Um, and you're going to be seeing this play out throughout the month. So let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Sorry for the long intro, but I did want to give you guys a, uh, basically a lowdown real quick of what you guys can expect, what is happening celestial wise. We also have Venus that recently entered Taurus. Very beautiful, beautiful placement. It is in its ruling sign. What does this mean? Blessings, opportunities, depending on where you have Taurus placement in your chart, that's where you can expect blessings. That's where you can experience abundance, opportunity, sensuality, romance, all that beautiful, uh, beautiful, creative type of energy. So and then we also are going to be experiencing Gemini and Jupiter transit happening later in the year. So a lot, a lot of momentum happening here. Uh, very, I would say 2024 is definitely, you know, uh, very massive. And I feel like the changes that are happening this year are going to be unfolding for us for the next coming years. Definitely. So let's get into it, Scorpio. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love. My divination spirits, please step forward. Allow me to see here. Sense beyond. Receive the messages loud and clearly. Give us clear insight what Scorpio can expect for the month of May 2024. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Scorpio, what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, there is or you have been experiencing a lot of changes in the workplace. And I feel like that's still going to be happening throughout the month of May. For some of you guys, it could feel or you, if, especially those of you guys that are dealing with it uh, right now, I feel like you guys are still trying to settle is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, you may feel like there's an inconvenience happening at work or it's taking a little more effort for you um, to push yourself when it comes to your career and your finances. However, what they're telling me is that this is something that is necessary. And though you may find it as an inconvenience, it is for your ultimate success. So my advice for you guys is if you are experiencing this already or if you feel like throughout the month you start to experience it, try the best you can not to nag about it. Fully embrace it because I feel like it has a lot to do with the attitude that you approach it is going to be the ultimate result of your success. So uh, that's something that's definitely coming through. Okay, here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May 2024? Spirits, please come through. Allow me to see here since you don't receive the messages. All right, here we go. Scorpio. First card is the Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so it's very important to cut the noise out, Scorpio. So if anything, for the month of May, it's going to be very important to be true and authentic to yourself, okay? I don't mean your ego, okay? There's a difference. <laughs> so for some of you guys, you've been spitting, or for others of you, you've been spatting with people, uh, maybe bumping a little bit of heads. Try the best you can to keep your ego in check. OK, why do I say this? Because obviously Pluto rules you and with it being retrograde, I feel like you become empowered by being authentic, but authentic to who you really are, not who you feel you need to be or show to the world based on ego. OK, so this could be like having, like I said, spats with people or bumping heads with people and feeling like you have to, like you're taking things very aggressively. And it's because of that, uh, those changes that are happening, besides the fact that we have North Node in Aries, we have Mars in Aries as well right now. So aggressive energy. So it's going to be very important to keep your intuition in check and not confuse it with your ego. Okay. Why do I say this? Because you have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles is having the need to be grounded having the need to be grounded so that you can intuitively and spiritually receive the messages that are coming through and not block yourself from blessings because you're being stubborn or because you're being prideful. OK, so again, I feel like there, and especially because we just experienced um, the solar eclipse in Aries, we had a lot of planets in Aries. So it, it put us in a position of being very aggressive or feeling like if we feel a bit defensive we take it like to a whole different level and i feel like in you doing this instead of like 
being able to see the bigger picture, you're taking things too personal. So it's important for you to realize when is it that your intuition is telling you, Scorpio, you're being true to yourself and you have every single right to stand your ground on this or to differentiate, this is my ego, this is my shadow side, and it's trying to take over instead of me being able to see the bigger picture. Let me take a step back and an like fully analyze, okay? And in doing this, I feel like it's going to be more beneficial for you. This could be the reason why they were giving me the message before even pulling out the cards that it's going to be very important wherever you feel like you're being pushed to step it up a bit or perhaps put a little more effort than you usually would. You're seeing it as an inconvenience, but what Spirit is telling you is do not nag about it. Step up to the plate. Do what is necessary because in doing this, the attitude or how you approach situations are going to play out in the month of May as a result of that. So basically, the, your success is going to be very connected to how you react to certain situations, circumstances, or people that you're dealing with that instead of it taking you to the next level and bring to you blessings, you can be blocking your blessings because of ego or pride. So again, very important. Now, like I was speaking to you guys in the very beginning, when it comes to career and finan finances, I see more stability. I see more opportunity. I see you guys really expanding um, maybe even thinking of the bigger picture for some of you guys, you've been working really hard towards creating some type of reputation or being known in your work for something that you're very naturally gifted at. I feel like you doubted yourself a bit or you felt again, because they're expecting a little bit more from you. It was kind of frustrating, but what spirit is saying is continue being authentic to who you are. If you have this type of integrity, this type of work ethic, do not step you know, the foot from the gas because you're like, okay, I've had it or people are taking advantage of that. Like, no, now is the time to really step up Scorpio because I feel like you're going through massive transformation and this transformation and these blessings are coming to you if you learn to be true and authentic to who you are. Okay, this is the message that's coming through very strongly, especially for those of you Scorpio risings and Venus as well. Um, your blessings are basically, and another thing that's coming through is Scorpio, uh, be mindful of whatever challenges or you feel like there is an obstacle that comes up in the month of May where you feel like you're being blocked or like someone is getting in your way of achieving something again don't think that way because then you're going to go into this vengeful mode. And what spirit is telling you is that's going to be a hindrance to your success. So whatever is playing out, let it play out. Let it, let, if people want to talk behind your back, let them talk behind your back. If they want to move in a sneaky way or in a slimy way at work, allow them to. Because by you allowing that, you're not fighting against it. You're just letting it unfold. And by letting it unfold, spirit is going to remove or chin check those people and bring to you the blessings that you're worthy of receiving because it is for you. OK, very important, Scorpio. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share and comment, and I will see you guys to the next one for now. Bye bye.